I'm Jonathan Watkins. I'm the curator of the Iraqi Pavilion in the Venice Biennale this year. We're in that venue, which is the Palazzo Dandolo on the Grand Canal. Near the entrance, the work of a young artist from Kurdistan. His name is Jamal Pinchweni. He's made two pieces for us. One is a series of, um, of photographs that's entitled Saddam is Here. And it was made since the death of Saddam and the end of the regime. But clearly what he's suggesting is that we are dealing with a population very much informed by the kind of um, ideology that characterized a tyrannical regime. So he may be gone, but uh, you know, his influence is pervasive. This is the work of another artist from Kurdistan. It is uh, Chiman Ismail. She is based in Sulaymaniyah. She's a, a painter. We went to see her in her house and were incredibly impressed by what she actually paints for herself. Uh, what exists in her domestic space, to some extent paintings, but often instead you'll find her painting on well, the oil heater or the television set or the clock or the lunchbox. And she very generously allowed us to take these from a domestic setting, uh, the familiar environment that she lives in every day, and have a corner for them here in our pavilion. Uh, in front of me is a sculpture by a woman artist who is resident in Baghdad. Her name is Farat Al Jamil. And in many ways, it provides a key to our understanding of this exhibition and Iraqi artistic practice today in general. We see this ancient Mesopotamian pot, which has been ruptured, broken, and it, it symbolizes uh, you know, civilization in, in trauma. Above it, suspended, are these frames with honeycombs, and we see the honey dripping into the pot, with the implication being one of a certain kind of healing. Chiman Ismail and I are the first Iraqi woman to participate in Venice, in an Iraqi pavilion, in the history of Iraqi art. So, of course, that makes us very proud, too. And uh, for us being chosen to come to Venice as Iraqi female artists is very important because we can inspire our colleagues to aim at more in the future. I'm interested in the work by those people, the people who are resident in Iraq. And, um, and I'm interested in their work that expresses their everyday reality.